Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlad, and today we are going to talk about the Mito Commander Shade. Before we begin the video, I'd like to personally thank Fernanda and Mito Watches for sending this in for review. This is being lent into the channel so I can take it in and share my opinions with you all. Thank you so much, Fernanda, for sending this my way. The Mito Commander Shade is a gorgeous recreation of the original Commander launched by Mito back in 1959. The Shade series is meant to celebrate Mito's 100th anniversary by paying homage to one of their most iconic designs, as evidenced by the choice of materials and overall style of the design. The Mito Commander series has been in production without pause since it was introduced back in 1959. However, has this watch stood the test of time? As you all know, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So let's talk Commander. The Mito Commander Shade is a decidedly round case with a 37 millimeter diameter and a 10.45 millimeter thickness. It is a stainless steel case with matching stainless steel bracelet. It has a acrylic top crystal and features an ETA 2836 that features a day and date or dado day complication over at the right hand side. The Mito Commander Shade will either come in this steel finish or a rose gold PVD finish, and either will set you back roughly $800. My first bad note with the Commander Shade here is the integrated bracelet. I would have preferred a standard 18 millimeter lug width recessed into the case like it is here, but with 18 millimeter matching spring bars. As you can see, the Milanese is fixed to the case via a pin and collar system. There's no great way to opt out this strap for perhaps a leather one, which I think would look fantastic with the watch without modifying that leather strap to some degree. And right now, this is the only strap or bracelet option rather for this watch. So I do hope you like the bracelet. The crown here is very small and well recessed. While aesthetically, that leaves us with a beautiful, perfectly rounded facade, from a user's standpoint, it's highly impractical. If you have large hands like myself, you may have a difficult time gripping the crown, not only getting it into the first or second position to set the time, but you'll also notice that it never fully relieves itself from the case. So adjusting the various functions on the watch can be difficult as your gripping area is reduced by its recessed design. However, once the day, date, and time are set, the problem is almost forgiven. Again, it would have been nice to see a crown that extended a little bit further from the body so it was easier to grip and use, but I do understand from a design aspect why they kept it so close to the chassis. My final issue is with the locking mechanism, and this is something found inherently on most Milanese straps, but I find it takes a great deal of fidgeting to get this to fit on your wrist precisely. Though, again, this is also forgiven once it's done. And with all of those bad notes out of the way, why don't we talk about what makes the Commander Shade series so special? The case here is perfectly crafted, likely from years of practice, but the quality is immediately apparent as soon as you pick the Commander up. I love the throwback styling using the old Mito logo, not only on the dial, but also on the clasp. The acrylic crystal used here was an excellent choice for this watch, not only for its throwback styling, but the perfect visibility it offers the wearer of that gorgeous two-tone dial, which beyond the excellent choice of movement here is my favorite part about this watch. The dial on the Mito Commander Shade is gorgeous. Mito's dressiest to date, in my humble opinion. The graduated two-tone finish reminds me of the sunburst effect of a Gibson guitar. There's just a wonderful balance between the black and silver finishing of the dial and little to obstruct by way of text, which is also very well executed. The automatic and dado day text juxtapose the day and date complication and the Mito and Commander text balance out the rest of the dial face, providing not only the proper amount of information to be displayed on the dial, but also a little bit of life. The handset, much like the rest of Mito's collection, is diamond cut, and that's not just fun marketing jargon. It actually makes a world of difference when taking in the dial. The handset, as well as the markers, I might add, 
tend to pop away from the dial's surface with their well-executed finishing. It's truly the perfect unisex dress watch. Now, before I offer you my final verdict on the piece, I'd love to provide you all with a wrist shot of the Mito Commander shade here. And I don't generally wear dress watches, but this feels less like a dress watch when compared to other dress watches. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe it'll make sense when you take in the watch, but it just wears so well that it seems to complement everything you wear it with. Now here is the Mito Commander Shade Series on a seven and a quarter inch wrist for all of your admirers. And when you are going to admire it, it's gonna look a little something like this. And perhaps you can tell what I mean here. This dial finish just looks good either dressed up or dressed down. It just looks smashing. It doesn't matter how you decide to wear this watch. And the scale of it is really fantastic in my personal opinion. To some, this might wear a little small, but to me at 37 millimeters in diameter, it's perfect. At 37 millimeters, this is equally suited for the female watch enthusiast as it is the male. It's rare to find a watch that's so well wearing on anyone's wrist. So the question here really isn't, has this watch stood the test of time, but why? And the answer to that is simple. It just works. What a fantastic way to celebrate 100 years. Congratulations, Mito, on this Commander Shade series. You really knocked it out of the park here. Now, if you found this video enlightening or in the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up a new dress watch, feel free to share this video with them as I think this is a great offering. And if you know someone who is on the fence about the 37 millimeter diameter scale, tell them not to worry. Again, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and this just wears perfectly on it. Also, if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week. So if watch content is your thing, feel free to slam that subscribe button. While you're down there, you can hit the little bell icon next to that to be alerted as to when my videos air. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.